come back in this part we're going to take a look at checking so when a king is attacked it is called a check and since the king cannot be captured in the chess game in the next turn we need to do something about it so let me give you an example if I move my rook here now the black king is in check and it must do something about it either move something here in the line of fire to block the check or capture the piece that has checked or just flee and in such cases the moving the other pieces is not legal so if I am under check I cannot move my rook because I will remain in check and I need to do something about the check okay so let's go and uh, write it obviously I need to go to the arbiter and when I'm getting the valid moves here after these two checks are done now I need to check that if the list of the moves that the piece is going to do will leave me in check or not and to filter out that those that uh, keep me in check so to say So I perform the move and I will see that if I still remain in check or not. So if we perform the move and we are not in check, then it's fine. So function is player in check uh, let's put it here is player in check and it's a function with those values that we sent so these three first I need to see the enemy pieces I would say that uh, the enemy is that if player starts with a W then enemy is B otherwise enemy is W so now I know which of the pieces are the enemy pieces then I need to know the position of my king so the king position is um, let's write a function for that as well and I need to know the enemy pieces so now based on the enemy pieces and my king position I can get the enemy moves and find out if any of those enemy moves will be at the same as the position of my king so for example if I do this and it's black turn now uh, I will look at the white rook movements and there is one of the moves of the rook that will be the same as the position of my king and that means that my king is in check so get the enemy moves now enemy moves
so I will look at all the enemy pieces and if that piece ends with P if it's a P pawn I don't need to take a look at the regular moves I need to look at the captures for that pawn so otherwise if it's a regular piece like rook knight or whatever then you just get the regular moves for that piece right and then if this then return true that uh, the player is in check otherwise we return false okay now I need to write these two functions get kink position and get uh, pieces well they should go here uh, let me grab it like this so that I will include all the arguments as well And we can call it this position and we can call this position so I would take a look at the position to get the king position and uh, we just look through the position and find the king so okay uh, for the get the pieces should be something similar to this so I would say that the enemy pieces uh, let's say enemy pieces is an empty array and then we do the loop again so I will grab this part I castle and then give a check yeah this is correct I cannot move here I cannot move this rook so let's say if I do this then I can only move the rook here I can move the king to these parts I cannot move this rook okay cool so the only thing is that I need to check the uh, king castling direction because for example now if I castle uh, this king can walk past the check so when this rook covers this square this king cannot go to castle in this direction but the other way it can so let's go to the get moves which we were and here in the castling direction uh, not in the castling direction but get in but get the castling moves yeah here is player in check and I need to say that the position after the move is uh, the current position I don't care about the rest and the player is uh, white if 
we are under check we cannot cancel so return moves uh, the same thing is for uh, black right and I need to check here as well so if this white rook and another check check that not arbiter that is player in check off the position after move is uh, moving the king one square to the left because we are checking the left here is uh, arbiter dot perform move of the position and piece and rank and uh, file and x is 0 and uh, y is 3 this position and player is white uh, not too white so here again I'm checking that uh, if I move my king to this position will be in check or not I need to do it for uh, 0 and 2 2 so if I moving if I want to cast in this direction I need to see if I in check if I move here and if I in check if I move in here so I'm checking these two and uh, the same shall go for black uh, so black rook and this is 0 and 0 and the player is black like so and the same shall be done for uh, short castles so here this is 0 and uh, 5 and here it is 0 and 6 and of course the same thing here 7 5 7 6 I think this is black yeah this should be white let's go and check if I castle I am controlling this square so this cannot move to this direction okay let's do it for black as well if I go here this rook this king cannot castle uh, this part is done the only thing that is remaining is that when I give a check so it's blackstone so if I give a check I need to you know highlight this king so that the black knows that it's in that under check this can be done on the board I believe because that's where we are highlighting everything like these highlights uh, so here in the board I need to get the king position and check that it's under check or not so let's say that uh, uh, is checked I would say that arbiter dot is player in check or not the position after the move is the current position that we have this one and the player is uh, I can say app state dot turn it's white turn so it's players white So I can grab this and say and then if I am in check I get the king position Uh, 
of the current position and uh, the player which is app state dot turn but I don't want to call this like for every tile I need to do it only once so let's do it like this a, a iffy like so that will be run only once and let's say if this is not that let's return null can be useful okay now here I would check that if is checked is true it's not null and uh, is checked index 0 is the same as i and is checked index 1 is the same as j for the tile that we are already in then we need to add a class so return not return but uh, add let's call it checked okay let's go here open the elements um, I don't need the console here refresh if black goes here and I go here then this should be in check so let's go to the tiles and yes this one is checked if I move it removes from here then I give another check yeah this is in check the only thing that I need to do is uh, have some CSS for that so let's go here and do something like this and for dot checked display is black position is absolute content is like this uh, let's take the whole size like so I will change the background let's give it like 20% and the left and right top should be zero let's check with red yes this is working uh, so let's go to the here and define a color let's call it check and I would give it F E E C like 48 a yellowish color like this and here we would say that yeah I'm under check now if I move then check is removed I'm checked I'm checked uh, let's go here bring the rook here do this I'm under check I can do only this or I can move my king let's say we do this I capture then the king can capture in the next part we will take a look at how a game ends is it a stalemate white wins black wins and so on thank you for watching and see you in the next video